Welcome, in this video I'm going to do a walkthrough and a review of a free website that lets you super easily make your own guitar fretboard diagrams. If you ever might need to make a guitar diagram or you're looking for guitar diagram software, then this video review is for you. If you've watched any of my weekly guitar lesson videos, you've probably seen me use guitar fretboard diagrams that look like this. As a teacher of guitar and as a student of guitar, I found that it's really important that I have some sort of guitar diagram software so I can quickly and easily create fretboard diagram images of scales or chords or arpeggios or whatever is needed. So in this video, I just wanna give credit to the website that I use all the time to create the guitar fretboard diagrams that I need for using on this YouTube channel or working with private students. That is guitarscientist.com. Very cool, very handy website. I'm just gonna walk through and show you some of the features and show you how it works. <laughs> I'm Jared Borkowski from soundguitarlessons.com. On this channel, I talk a ton about music theory and mapping out the fretboard and practice strategies and improvisations and all kinds of things, wide variety of topics, all based around helping us get creative control over the instrument and over music so we can express ourselves more freely. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and hit the bell. All right, the first thing I wanna do is just give a huge shout out to Giuseppe Mota. Um, I don't know him at all. I'm not affiliated with uh, his website, guitarscientist.com or anything. I've just been using it for a while. I find it extremely useful and valuable. He has this about me page. So just, hey, Giuseppe, thank you so much. Huge shout out. I just wanted to give credit where credit's due. All right, so if we go to the guitarscientist.com generator, just guitarscientist.com slash generator, or you can get to it by clicking around appropriately from the main page of the website, here's what you get. And like I showed already, a lot of the diagrams I'm creating and using on this channel are made from this. So let's go ahead and look at uh, some of the features here and just walk through how it works. We got uh, over the left on the bottom, you can choose a uh, fretboard and change the length of your fretboard, which I often do make a bit of a longer length because I often am playing a Telecaster. So I need kind of room over there to show maybe some, a scale option. Um, and then um, a lot of times I'll play with the uh, fretboard width as well. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to create some diagrams that I need to make for my next video, which is going to be about the altered scale and uh, the scale forms of the altered scale. So that'll be cool. But first, let's just kind of go through and look at some of the stuff you can do. You can create, um, you know, multiple layers of fretboard or, you know, remove a fretboard. I've never done the left-handed diagram, but that's very cool that that's in there. Right-handed diagram, uh, change the look of some of these. I tend to like this, um, this look right here, this third one over just because it's like the white um, kind of clean, cleanest one, um, not filling up with color or anything. So I kind of like that. Um, and I keep the fretboard indicators on. Uh, you can put a fretboard caption. Sometimes I'll do that if I'm having a bunch of fretboards. So I'll say, this is you know this scale form, and this is this scale form, but we're gonna keep that off. Um, and actually for the diagrams that I need, um, we will come back to that in a second. Um, Tuning, I've never played with this, but obviously you can change with you can change uh, to alternate tunings. Looks pretty simple to use. That's great. Um, colors are awesome. Uh, I am going to start making these diagrams that I need for the altered scale. So let's check out how I would do that. I mean, super simple here. You're just going to um, click on the fret you want, but then you can change the color. So I kind of like my default color to be blue, and then I use um, red for the root. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this first uh, position of the altered scale. And it's great if you you know go here and just try to click and you click around and um, it's a good test for how well are we visualizing the, um, the fretboard. So I'm gonna go to the colors again and make sure my root is uh, red and then skip over here on the bottom to where it says root select and i'm going to click that as the root so if you've seen any of my other videos and i talk a lot about theory stuff and like knowing the scale degree numbers and chord tone numbers are huge 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 um in in terms of uh what i believe in for giving us kind of the control and creative options over music that we want on the fretboard so uh so this is cool it just fills it out for us now and shows um everything in relation to one um, we'll come back to talking about that in a second. Um, I haven't done layers before, but apparently you can um, create different layers. I actually have not played with that. I'm just gonna show you kind of what I tend to use. Um, the notation 
is helpful, and we're going to we're going to play with that. Um, you can change to modifying note names, or let's say we want to modify flat five versus sharp four. So you see that right here it says sharp four, or do you want that to say flat five? We actually do want it to say um, flat five. And it, for the altered scale, in that video, I'm going to explain the theory of it, but I want it to say sharp five instead of flat six. So I change those. So that's like the notation here. And then I also want flat two to be flat nine instead of flat two. So I'm going to choose flat nine down there in custom text. And then I'm going to choose that there. Ah, but my color is wrong. So I got to make sure my color is set. So there's my color there. Um, and now everything that I click on will show flat nine instead of whatever it is, right? So even if, if I click over here, it's going to say flat nine because I chose that as a custom custom thing. I have to erase that down there now to, to get rid of it. Let's see if I have what I need. Um, oh no, we want all of the flat threes to be sharp nine. So right now you can just kind of look at this as far as how's the, how the uh, diagram creator works. But if you're interested in the theory I'm talking about, that's why I'm doing a video of that um, next week. Flat three is going to be sharp nine. Now let's see if we got everything we need. Yes, we have one, we have three, we have flat seven and then sharp five and then flat five and flat nine. So I'm just, that's just me kind of looking over it for that. So this is the, um, one of the positions, one of the scale forms of the altered scale that I'm going to use. Of course, you can you do you know whatever you want with this. Let's go back down, just look at a couple of other these fe other uh, features here, and then I'll continue to make the diagrams that I actually need, including some some linear scale stuff along one string as well. Um, you can uh, use this uh, scale structure generator here. I've never done that because I always do it from scratch, but that's something that could be interesting um, to play with. I've never used the Octaver either. I actually don't know what that does. Let's try it. Oh, I need to take away my, I need to take away my notation thing. So that doesn't say flat nine. Octaver. Ah, I see it shows you every place that that exists. So very cool. Um, root select is very crucial. You, I use that all the time. Um, so, oh, we don't want the Octaver on. There we go. So root select is there. I already did it. It's root, root, change my color, root, root. Oh, my five went away. Okay, moving on. We have the transpose feature here, and that's kind of nice. You can just move your whole uh, scale form around. The root stays where it was before, so you just need to redo the root select if you want that to um, stay the root, but uh, pretty handy. I don't really use that, but um, I maybe uh, could in some cases, I often just kind of rewrite stuff really quickly. But uh, undo, pretty obvious, reset, very obvious. Um, download is crucial because then you can download your actual um, PNG file image of this and then use it however you want. So that's always what I'm doing. And then you can save actually a link to your interactive process here. So you can create, you can save uh, the fretboard, and then it saves it for you archived on the on the site. Uh, please specify a title. I see you need a title. So these are gonna be the altered scales, but that's really cool. I have a list of all the scales that I've done before, all the diagrams that I've done, and then, um, and then I can just go back to them in this way. So we see that it's saving, and then here's a link here. So if I go to that link, then we're gonna get this file that uh, that I've started and created. So that's really nice. Let me make that a little bigger. All right. So of course you'll figure it out if you just click around and you know do what we do with software. So I wanted to give you kind of a quick walkthrough of those things down there. And then now I'm just gonna go through and create what I need for my next video. So you really see me using it in action. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna make that uh, white fretboard there and then uh, make the length that I need, which it looks, oh, never mind, it was already that. So we're good on that. Okay, that's the length that I need there. Um, and then I actually have been creating the fretboards, you know, much bigger because then the printout is a higher resolution. So I'm just kind of creating proportionally similar, much bigger fretboard. I'll shrink it down so we can see the whole thing. So then, uh, then the resolution is just better when I use it in the video, that's all. Um, so, just created that to 100 and, uh, 
fret width and then 50 fret height is kind of roughly what I've been doing there instead of what the default was. So that's what I needed for that. Okay, next I need to show something above this shape. I'm gonna show a few things above. So that's a good um, feature, very, very handy there and drag that up there because what I need to show is I'm gonna show the root here, which I'll change in a second. And then I'll do that right now, actually. So I go to root select and then select that there. And then I already have blue for my next um, color. And I'm gonna go to one, three and flat seven and I'll go to one again. So this is one of the things I'm gonna feature in the video. I just need to show the one, the three, the flat seven, and the one. This is uh, outlining a shell voicing along that string. So I just need that diagram that's gonna be used in the video to show, and as I play it, then I will, in, in the editing, we'll have that uh, highlighted. So that's kind of how I'm thinking through the process. The next that one that I need is going to build on this. So I'm gonna go to fretboards, and I'm going to go to add fretboard, and we'll end up adding more as well. I'm just kind of getting everything I need on one page here and then we will kind of extract that for the editing of the video. So I'm gonna go down here and say, um, copy this little copy icon there and then click on the fretboard that I wanna apply it to. So that's saved me just a little bit of time, but it could save a lot of time if you need to copy more stuff over. Um, so now I have that and I'm going to fill out the rest of the scale along this string. So I'm gonna go flat two, flat three, sharp four, sharp five, um, and that should be good. Maybe I'll give myself that as well. And then this is this is unique that I have to change so much notation. This is pretty rare. Usually, usually that's not necessary. The altered scale is just, well, it is altered. So we have to change some stuff there. I'm changing flat nine. I'll make sure that flat five and sharp five, and uh, and we need sharp nine. So totally don't sweat what that means. If you're not interested in that, uh, totally fine. But it is a cool example of how we can you can type anything you want in here and have the dots show up as that. So if you wanted to show finger numbers, if you wanted to show what the left hand finger should be doing, then uh, that works to put uh, whatever you want there. So let me just double check this. Yes, 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 that's what we need. So that's the next thing that I needed. And actually I want that to be below this one because I'm gonna put them in the order that I actually need them. Oh, I do want the other root to be red. And accidentally that says sharp nine. Gotta change that. Um, just get rid of that there. And one. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is creating another fretboard. These are just a series of things, series of items that I need for for the lesson that I'm gonna teach next. And so this is the altered scale here. And then what I'm gonna show next is how the altered scale is a mode of melodic minor. So I'm actually gonna just, I can just look above and say, oh sure, the same structure, same structure, same structure. And what I'm gonna show is that, this is what's so cool, the root now can be something different. It changes all the numbers for me like this. So. You know what I, uh, no, I was gonna say I could transpose it, but that, that wouldn't work. So, um, ah, so now the root is something different. So yeah, it takes some, some clicking around if you wanna be as specific as I'm being with, you know, getting all the colors right and getting all the, um, getting all the notation names exactly right. But for the melodic minor scale now, what I'm gonna show is how, oh, look at this scale and this scale are the exact same thing, but the number changed. And if you're interested at all, that's exactly what a mode is. That is what a mode is. So these are modes of each other where the notes are the same, but the numbers change. This is the root here and you would treat it and here it is the root. This is the root here and you would treat it and here it is the root. So this is the melodic minor scale, one, two, flat, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And then if you call seven, one, if you treat that as one, that's the seventh mode of this scale. That's what my next lesson's on. So I don't mean to start teaching that stuff now, but it is just cool to see it right here, right? And, and that's why this is so handy. I could write this out by hand, and I some I used to do that a lot, but this is just even quicker and, and so clean looking. Okay, so these first three diagrams that I have here, these first three fretboards are to kind of explain, that's gonna explain kind of, kind of the nature of the scale and the theory and stuff, and then I'm just gonna show all five position versions of being able to play this particular scale, the altered scale, 
in uh, five different positions on the fretboard. So I need to create all those. So I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll just speed it up so uh, you don't have to sit while I do it in real time, but uh, we'll watch it kind of unfold super fast, which means I can't talk during that, but uh, I'll just do that and then we'll get that done. All right, so those are all five of the scale forms for the altered scale that I needed to make for my next video. So you just got to see the process and how some of that stuff works and you know how I use it for an actual uh, for an actual need, for an actual video that then I'm gonna teach with. So anyway, I hope you found it uh, interesting or useful and just at least to know that that's out there. So um, super quick to just hop on there and make a little diagram however you need. I use it for scales, I use it for arpeggios, I use it for chord tone mapping lessons, I you know anything to just kind of show a chord shape really quickly or whatever, it's just uh, been um, an amazingly useful tool. If you want another resource for studying the fretboard a little further, definitely grab my free chord chart that's called Chords with Color. It shows a ton of awesome chord options with extensions and uh, alternative uh, interchangeable options for chords through five different keys and shows uh, the different chord shapes for if you make a chord, if you make all the chords in the keys uh, sus4 and how about sus2 and how about if you do an add nine chord or how about you know every type of chord through uh, five different keys and it shows all the theory information about what chords are within what key and the uh, chord tones labeled and stuff like that so it's a very cool chord chart i put a lot of effort into it and i just want it to be a useful tool for you as well so if you find that interesting please just grab it it's free and uh, there's a link in the description to get that free chord chart. Quick question for you, is there a guitar diagram software tool that you have been using or have used, or is there anything you recommend? Let's share this stuff with each other in the comments. I know there's a lot of stuff out there and um, I'm always interested in what's available to us and uh, what different resources um, we can use. And so learning from each other is the best way to do this. Um, if you do use any guitar software, uh, guitar diagram software, or um, even something that has more functions like music notation and stuff like that, something you find useful for mapping out stuff on the fretboard, uh, please put it in the comments. I would love to hear and uh, love other people would love to see it as well. I'm doing this to help you reach those guitar goals and find fulfillment in music. And the comments really help let me know that I am on the right track with that. So thank you so much for all the comments on this channel. On my video about the chords that come from the minor scale, K-M-M-L-N-G, however you might pronounce that, just saying the letters, they commented and said, your channel is a gold mine. Been playing guitar for quite a while now, and I am fairly proficient technically, but the theory part has always been missing. I have tried to learn about theory multiple times, but your approach finally makes everything click. Thank you. Well, I super appreciate that. If you're interested in learning about in a practical, hands-on way, how chords from the minor scale and song examples that use them, if you want to know about that stuff, check that list and I'll put a link to that in the description where it says links mentioned in this video. And if you genuinely like this video on how to make your own guitar fretboard diagrams with guitarscientist.com, you found it useful, please hit that like button. That really helps more guitar students find the material that they're looking for so they can learn from it and keep progressing. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is about what in the world the altered scale is and how to use it, as you already know, since you saw me map out that stuff as a demonstration in this video. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing.